<laughs> again, should we do it again? Hey crew, I've got the key to that Ford Maverick Tremor. We are gonna take it for a drive, both on road and off, but first, let's check it out what looks on the inside and outside. The Tremor now sits above the FX4 as the most off-road oriented version of the Maverick small truck. And it's distinguished visually by these orangey bronze accents like here in the grill. There are darkened headlight and taillight housings, standard LED reflector headlights and incandescent turn signals. Down low are more orange accents for the front tail hooks. And there's a redesigned front bumper for a better approach angle with an integrated front skid plate. This paint job is called Avalanche. It's exclusive to the Tremor, and it's like a putty color that goes great with those orange details. At the side, the Tremor gets Falcon Wild Peak All-Terrain tires, 30 inches in diameter, wrapping over these 17 inch dark gray painted wheels with more orange touches. The front and rear splash guards are optional. Black plastic covers the mirror caps, window trim, and door handles. Stepping back to look at the profile, Unlike something like the Santa Cruz, the Maverick goes for a more traditional truck silhouette, and it looks good with that one extra inch of ride height for the Tremor. I think the 30 inch tires look solid in the wheel arches, but 31s or even 32s would look even better. There's a Tremor decal on the bed, and at the back, we find incandescent tail lights and turn signals with Maverick stamped on the tailgate, a blacked out Ford badge, non-dampened tailgate, but it is lockable with a spray and bed liner as an option. You get a storage cubby here on the side. There's DC power capability on either side of the four and a half foot bed with lots of tie down points. There's a hitch receiver, but unlike other all wheel drive versions of the Maverick that can tow up to 4,000 pounds, the Tremor is limited to just 2,000 pounds. Full size spare tire underneath on a steel wheel. I think the overall look of the Maverick Tremor is appropriately rugged, and I like the styling tweaks. But what do you guys think? Is this tough enough looking of a small truck? Let me know in the comments, and let's check out the interior. Opening up and looking inside at this two-tone fabric interior with dark gray for the seat borders and light gray for the inserts, plus orange contrast stitching on the Tremor, Navy blue for the door panels with hard plastics, hard plastics, hard plastics, and then leatherette padding for your arm. Power windows, little geometric pattern here in gray. Good storage in the door. Stepping in is oh so easy to do. Here I am behind my own seat at six feet tall where I've got plenty of knee room. The foot pockets are big to slide my feet under. Thigh support is excellent and headroom is as well. Got plenty of that, so that gets the thumbs up from me. There are no air vents in the middle, no USB ports. You do get a DC outlet and a slot to slide in some 3D printed accessories. Sliding over the all weather floor mats that are standard on Tremor. I can fit in the middle seat, so you could put three full size adults in the back in a pinch, though it'll get kind of tight. If you don't have a middle passenger, then there is an armrest that comes down with two cup holders. So I'd like sliding rear window air vents, USB ports, but the storage and space in the back gets the thumbs up. So let's check out the front now. And like the big boy trucks, there's also storage underneath the seats. Door close noise is a pretty solid thud for the price. And we've got a keypad here so you can enter a code and leave your key in your truck to run off and do activities keyless. The front seats add Tremor logos on the seat backs. They're manual adjusting. Maverick is on the floor mats. We have power adjusting, not power folding door mirrors. Let me grab the physical key to put the truck in accessory mode. That'll turn on the 4.2 inch digital TFT display that is customizable and sandwiched in between an analog tack and speedo. Polyurethane wraps the steering wheel border We've got some controls here on the wheel for media. Storage cubby above the eight inch touchscreen infotainment system that is kind of an older generation of graphics and responsiveness, but it does have wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. To the right of the screen is storage for 
I'm not sure what. We've got a volume knob and tuner, single zone of auto climate control, two USB ports, one A1C and a DC outlet. Slot here for your smartphone. It's not wireless smartphone charging. Two more cubbies, two cup holders, another cubby, another cubby. And under the leather topped console cover is very deep storage. Visibility is fantastic. And we've got as equipped to this truck, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic. For 32,500 as tested, this cabin is really solid. The tech checks the box. There's ample passenger and cargo space and some visual intrigue. I'm ready. Let's take the Maverick Tremor for a drive next. All right, let's fire it up. It's a fun welcome animation on the TFT display. And we do have some drive modes to choose from. Here we hit the tremor button and it will bring up our choices of normal, tow haul, slippery, mud and ruts, and sand. We're not in any of those conditions, so we'll do normal. And then we'll turn the dial over to bring up a medium to low resolution backup camera. It does have trajectory lines and we will back on out of here. Continuing the turn of the dial over to drive. And let us begin with a turning radius test. Fully cranked. Man, you know, that would not be remarkable for a normal vehicle, but for a pickup truck, that's such a good turning radius. Turn signal sound is next. Hopefully you like that noise because it's, it's pretty loud. Now for the world famous horn test. What in the name? That's so loud. And it sounds like a train horn. I did not expect that. Okay, I hear you Maverick Tremor and your ridiculous horn. And as I reel from that sound, let's get into the powertrain. So the Maverick standard truck has the option of a hybrid setup with less power, but great fuel economy. But if you want this Tremor off-road package, you've got to step up to the 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder that makes 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. It is routed through an eight-speed automatic gearbox to an all-wheel drive system. And here in normal mode, just putting about town, peak torque comes in plenty early, so you can easily work your way up to speed. You're not having to wait a long time for the boost to build. And the throttle response is measured. Ride quality. If you're coming out of other body on frame pickup trucks, this is going to feel like a revelation. So the Maverick is based on the same platform that underpins the Ford Escape and the Ford Bronco Sport. So it's a unibody architecture, which means that compared to a body on frame structure like we find in mid-size pickup trucks this is going to be much less jittery and the bumps are not going to rattle you nearly as much so if you kind of pretended you didn't have a bed behind you you might as well be driving a small crossover and furthermore, these seats deserve so much praise. It's like I'm sitting on memory foam chairs. They just coddle my body. I haven't been hugged like this in years. Just kidding, I have a lovely wife. The chairs are amazing. The brake pedal is also easy to adjust and come up to a smooth stop. It's, it's just great for driving around town, but we should see if it's quick at all. So let's do a real world zero to 60 test next.
For that, I've got my race box set up here, and there's no sport drive mode, but we do have a low range mode, which kind of primes up the transmission for speed. Holding it, letting it go. Getting dusted by a Velar. But catching up pretty quick, 6.7 seconds to 60. This is no slouch. I'll pop it out of low range now. And we can see about the mid-range potency. There's a fair amount of grunt to this truck. This motor is not to be underestimated. Not only off the line, but also in regards to your passing speed. You've got enough here. You know, my only critiques about the Maverick in terms of on-road manners day-to-day -day are two things. One, that four-cylinder does have this buzziness to the sound, and it does strike me as kind of a harsh and not a pleasing sound when you're fully on it. And two, the steering, when it's just off-center, is quite heavy surprisingly so as you add lock it lightens up but just here when you're trying to stay in the center of your lane it's pretty heavy resistance those are the only two things though from a daily driving standpoint that are not perfectly agreeable about driving this truck because even here at speed the wind noise is there, but it's it's respectably dulled inside the cabin for this price point. The all-terrain tires make almost an inaudible hum. I, I think I'm just, I'm more impressed than disappointed, far more impressed than disappointed with how this truck behaves on the road. And now we need to see how it'll do when it's getting dirty. All right, we've made it out here to the trail. And instead of changing up the drive mode just yet, I am going to hit this four-wheel drive lock button, which will mean that this front-wheel drive biased all-wheel drive system will never be permitted to just behave in front drive. Then I'm going to turn the dial back to drive, and we're going to head on out. Now, what I didn't mention on road was that the tremor, in addition to getting that one extra inch of ride height, bringing the ride, bringing the ground clearance to 9.4 inches, also gets unique dampers and specially tuned front and rear springs to better absorb the shocks that can happen with off road terrain. And that setup mixed with the inherent composure of a unibody platform means that the Maverick Tremor is just a pleasure here on the trail. It rides very nicely over washboardy sections of this road. and little bumps and ruts that surface. The EcoBoost motor once again providing more than sufficient grunt though yet again I am a little disappointed in the steering not in its resistance at this point, but the sluggishness of the turn-in and the slop. Oh, there's mud. Should we go in the mud? Let's put on the mud and ruts drive mode. And play around a little bit.
<laughs> again? Should we do it again? No problem whatsoever. And in the mud ruts mode, it does turn off traction control. And so it allows the truck to slide a little bit without the traction system freaking out and cutting power. So we could propel ourselves through it. Unfortunately, if you had aspirations of turning your Maverick Tremor into a rally car, your hopes will be dashed by the fact that there is no way to fully defeat stability control in addition to traction control. And so things like power slides, is that a smart? It's a smart that's lifted on ATs. That's killer. You like the whip? That's sick, dude. These are the kind of interruptions I welcome while doing drive reviews. Seeing car enthusiast culture alive and weird is amazing. A smart 4.2 lifted with a wide body kit on all terrain tires with three guys crammed inside of it. And now back to the Maverick, where I've already discussed the benefits of a unibody architecture here off-road, namely ride composure. But we have not yet talked about the downsides to this design because when the chassis and the body are one, you miss out on the inherent flex that you get from a body on frame structure and also not having even one solid axle means that you don't have the same level of articulation from the tires, from the suspension. And so when we're looking at obstacles where we're gonna have like a mogul setup and we're gonna need that articulation, we'll have to see how the tremor is gonna do. Before we head up into our obstacle, I am going to lock the rear differential, which is something you can do in this vehicle like a lot of mid-size off-road oriented pickups. And I immediately wish the Tremor had one of those front-facing camera systems to help us better plot our route. We do have that nice approach angle of 30.7 degrees, but with this vehicle, I'm mostly worried about the breakover, basically not wanting to be hung up in the middle of the truck between the front and rear axles. You can hear the torque vectoring system working there and feel the benefits of the locked differential in the rear, not wasting any power. And I'll pause this here because I got to show you a clip from outside the truck, how much tire hang we have because of this inflexible unibody structure. So we're just going to have to let the three tires that are dug in with those all terrains pull us through. And they do beautifully. And I'll pause to back up here so we don't scrape on that brush. But this is an excellent time to point out that because of the small size of the Maverick Tremor, scraping on brush on a tighter trail or whacking into the sides is not something that you typically have to deal with. Unlike even mid-size or especially full-size pickup trucks where you're limited by the dimensions of your vehicle, this is just a pint-sized hero. And the off-road goods don't stop there. We've got a trail control system, which will work going up or down an obstacle. It's effectively off-road cruise control, and you can set the speed in one mile per hour increments here, allowing me to take my foot off the gas and brake, focus on the steering. Brake-based traction working over time here to steady us down. And out. So for all the reasons I just shared, the Maverick Tremor is not going to be the ideal instrument for heavy duty crawling situations where you need tons of ground clearance and articulation. But for any trail you're likely to encounter, maybe leading you to a campsite that's off the beaten path, it may have a few obstacles, but they're modest to mild, You've got the power you need, you've got the small dimensions to maneuver, you've got the tools, you've got the hardware to get you there comfortably, dare I say more comfortably than most off-road oriented vehicles, and safely. Now before we hop into pricing and competition for this Maverick Tremor, let's discuss the top speed and fuel economy. Top speed is limited to 109 miles per hour, which is a little less than the non-Tremor versions of the Maverick, 
and the fuel economy is 20 mpg in the city 24 on the highway and 21 combined also a little less than other versions of the maverick there are only two other unibody smaller sized pickup trucks we've got the hyundai santa cruz and the honda ridgeline the starting figure for the maverick tremor is thirty one thousand eight hundred dollars which I think is a pretty great deal considering you're getting the 2.0 EcoBoost four-cylinder and you're getting the all-wheel drive system as part of the Tremor package, and yet it's only like $5,000 more than the regular front rod XLT version of this truck. This one as tested is a little more expensive than that. It's $32,500. Still, in my mind, a great deal, but let's look at the competitors first. If you want the all-wheel drive version of the Santa Cruz, you gotta step up to the SEL Premium that starts at just under $39,000. It does make 281 horsepower, gets to 60 in six seconds flat, and has fuel economy of 23 combined while towing up to 5,000 pounds. If you want the Ridgeline, the cheapest version of that is the Sport, starting just over $40,000. It makes 280 horsepower, gets to 60 in 6.3 seconds, has fuel economy of 21 combined, and can also tow 5,000 pounds. Now looking at those specs, yes, the Maverick Tremor is down on power and more importantly down on towing capacity compared to those two vehicles, but the price point is also considerably less and I think it's the most stylish. I think that the off-road capability is the best. It's the off-road oriented small truck that I would choose. I understand if the towing capacity is a deal breaker for you, you're either going to have to look at a different version of the Maverick with peak towing up to 4,000 pounds or jump ship altogether and look at one of those other two vehicles. But if not, then I highly, highly recommend this vehicle. It, it has, it's enamored me with all of the things that it does so, so well. Which would you guys choose? Would you go Maverick Tremor? Would you go Hyundai Santa Cruz? Would you go Honda Ridgeline? Let me know in the comments, and I hope you've enjoyed this POV Drive review. If you did, please like, comment, and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to get notified, and I'll see you next time.